Okay, so I'm gonna record this at an awkward angle lying on my bed because I'm too lazy to put up my tripod or do anything any more than what I did. Um, but I'm going to Novi Taco Fest, and I'm quite excited. Um, I have, I was gonna make this an Eat the D, but it's a little too far for it to be counted as that, so it's just gonna be a normal video. But it's in Novi, Michigan. It's like, I don't know, 45 minutes to an hour outside of Detroit. I think at least, I don't know. Based on the map, that's just my ballpark of the GPS. Um, I, did, I, I have literally no idea what to expect. This came up on my Instagram as an ad a week ago, so I bought a ticket and was like, fuck it. There's going to be lots of taco vendors there. Um, I'm probably just... I'm going to eat as much as I can. I don't know how big it is. I don't know, like, what's going on. Um, so we're going there. And I'm excited, dude. I'm going to try and, like, get as small portions as everywhere as I can. Because I want to try as many things as possible. Um, I'm going I'm gonna be there as soon as they open at 11. It's, like, 9.30 right now. Because I got a pool party I'm going to later in the day. So I got to get there as quick and get as much experience as I can and whatever time I'm there, so, but I'm excited, I'm gonna be eating lots of tacos, I don't, I have no idea what the footage is gonna be like, I'm gonna probably just hang my camera from my neck, I'll have the lav mic clipped onto my shirt, I'm not, it's gonna be, it's gonna be very, very, uh, very rough and rowdy, I guess, probably, but, you know, we'll wing it, we'll see what we can do, we'll get some food, Talk about some tacos, probably. Maybe get some other stuff there. I don't know what kind of food vendors are going to be there other than people who sell tacos. But I'm excited. So I'm going to stop this rambling on for no reason. And then we'll go into... I'll catch you in Novi. There is just an absolute line of taco trucks, baby. Looks like a lot of things are five dollars, which is good for your boy. So I should not be here without broke I am. And some of them aren't open yet. Then again, it is eleven o'clock, so. I'll eat, I'll, I'm going to try and stuff to myself to the gills here, get as much as I possibly can. Holy crap, there's an ass load of trucks here. Look at this, look at this. Yeah, look, oh my god, it's like literally a whole fucking ring. I'm literally just walking around the outside of the tacos, of the fucking the fairgrounds, I guess is the word I'd call it. Look at this, there's absolutely, I actually saw this fucking howdy doodle ice cream thing on the road the other day. I was like, holy shit, that's like a fucking wagon. But I, there's absolutely no way I'm going to be able to eat everything here. <laughs> but, like I said, I almost certainly stuff myself to the gills. Taco Express. Enchilada. Like I said, I'm gonna try and get small portions out everywhere. Oh my god, there's even fucking more. So there's a whole nother area that with more taco trucks that I'm gonna check out. Look at this. This is a whole nother parking lot. Just absolutely lined with food trucks. Someone pinched me. I think I may have died and gone to heaven. I know someone who's watching this is going to be very in particularly jealous. Holy smokes. Yeah, dude. So, I'm going to go back to where I started and let's see what we can eat. Gracias. So we're starting out here at Urinos Chuecos. I'm gonna mispronounce so much shit today. 
but this is where I'm starting. You get a five dollar, five dollar taco. So I'll probably just get one so I can sample more. But we'll see what we we'll see what we get here. Like I said, we're doing things real rough and rowdy over here. So I apologize for any of the angles, but I got a single birria taco into beer, which was free, I think. It was such a hassle to get, and like their system was down, so guy just came, he's like, just leave, you're good. He didn't put it, like, just leave. That sounded incredibly rude. He did not say that, but. Beer, taco, cilantro, and lime, and onion. They had tamales too, but they only had chicken tamales, which I'm not against. But at the same time, this is a taco fest, not tamale fest. I'm sure I'll get something other than the taco at some point. But you gotta start with start with wine. Mm. For a second, I didn't think they were seating here, and I was like, "Oh shit, I'm just gonna have to like sit on the ground and do this." But there's this tent with a bunch of tables in it, so. Mm. So good. I'm honestly. I was gonna kind of work my way down the line and like just go like from one trailer to the next and just until I'm full. Mm. It's good. I used to think I was more of a fan of flour tortillas than corn. But the places I'm going and getting these corn tortillas at, I think, it's, I think I'm a corn tortilla man. This also might be the earliest I started drinking. I don't know if I mentioned that. It's 11.30, and I've had this beer for like 10 minutes or so already. So. <clears throat> but the whatever place it was, I can't remember. <laughs> it was good taco. <clears throat> but on to the next one. All right. Now we're moving on to KG Saw Grill. Tacos, all kinds of shit. $5 tacos, oh, what do they got? Jerk chicken, beef, shrimp, grilled chicken, fish and veggies. I'm thinking some jerk chicken, baby. Let's see what we think. So the other place, it seemed like they weren't set up yet, so I'll come back later. So we're at Mezcal Cafe, or Mez Cafe, I don't know. Mezcal Ferndale, there we go. Got some tacos, we'll see what we get. I don't know what kind I want yet. So I got the chorizo taco. Looks pretty similar, honestly. The only difference is the meat's colored a little more red. This chorizo is typically a little more spicy of a sausage. And it's a lot smaller, which, you know, I can appreciate. Mm. Much different flavor. A little more, a little more tang to this one. Still good. And this is definitely spicier. Nothing crazy, but definitely spicier. And then, a chorizo, I'd hope so. I'm sorry if the lighting's not the great for some of these shots. I'm just come to shooting outdoors. So that one was quite good. We're moving on to, uh, I don't know, wherever's the next place that's open down the line. I'm hoping you guys can hear the music. I'd be a little shocked if you couldn't, if I'm being entirely honest. They got this main stage with acts going on all day. Uh, let's see if I can get a little snippet of it. That little gray thing right there, that's got the, what's going on for the day on this stage here. Uh, this is, I don't know what this is called, but it's whatever's happening now. some dancing, some boogieing. Oh, she he getting sturdy. So we're here at, uh, I don't even know what this truck is. A local beauty spot, I can't remember. Beauty L something, I don't know, the brake light of the trailer's getting in the way. They got tacos, obviously. I got a lamb taco. Once again, my quest to get tongue, AKA lingua, lingua, whatever is uh, foiled, as they didn't have any of it. So I settled for the uh, lamb taco, of course. But, you know, I'll get it and I'll go sit at my spot and we'll see what we think. 
Okay, so I got my lamb taco. I threw some sauce on it. What kind? I don't know. I just kind of grabbed it out of there and threw it on. Do some lime. And I saw a dude walking around with some elote, which I shockingly haven't seen on many menus. I haven't seen on any menu yet of the three or four places I've been to. But uh, he said there's a place that's like back there, but they do cash only. I never have cash on me. And they, uh, there's another place that's like, they are, has it like in that second half of stuff I sent you. Let me see if I can block enough light to get it to focus on this. Yeah, you can kind of see it. There we go, there we go. It's coming in, it's coming in. There we go. Yeah, it's like some sauce on it. It's like an orange sauce. Really have no clue what's in it in the slightest. But nonetheless, down the hatch. Lamb is always just such a tender meat. And I hate the thought of eating a lamb. But holy shit, it's good. It's one of my favorite meats, but also one of my least favorites at the same time. I'm not going to push myself to the breaking point in terms of stomach capacity. I'm just going to go till I feel like stopping. But nonetheless, I've yet to eat something that's under a 7. Beer. Um, I'll probably skip the drink for now. Maybe get one later, but next spot, baby, next spot. <laughs> I'd say I have room for maybe two more spots, three tops. Um, yeah, we'll see. Yeah, I might, I might, I might get some other than a taco at this point. See if I can get like a couple tamales, because when it comes to Mexican food and. Spanish cuisine, tamales are my weak spot. I absolutely love me a good fucking tamale. And you know we gotta get some elote as well. Let's see what we can find on these other menus. Really having trouble finding some tamales. Uh, a lot of places are serving mostly tacos, which, you know, not that surprising. But you know, I gotta see if I can find a tamale somewhere. A tamale at a spot I haven't been, because that one had chicken tamales, but. Let's see, you know, I've had there, I've had there. Let's see what else we can find, you know? You know, me, I'm always trying new shit. We're gonna try this place out, because they have lengua on their meat choice. And they also have elote on their uh, on their menu, so we'll see what we can get here. Hopefully we can get both. Then maybe after that, I'll try and find like some good dessert or something, I'll call it a day. Or well, maybe I'll get one more taco on it. We'll see how hungry I am. Yeah, uh, El... El Zaka. Zacatecano 3, yeah sure. Okay, so once again, all out of length, all out of tongue. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna eat all this, and then I'm gonna get one more place. And I'm gonna go to places I haven't been, ask for the tongue. If they don't have it, I'm moving on to the next one. I don't know why I, this quest for tongue eludes me oh so much. So I'm gonna see, I'm gonna do everything I have in my power today to make sure I can get some tongue tacos or something. Um, but here I got some beef tripe tacos, which, I don't even know what tripe is. So let's look it up. Edible lining of the stomach of a farm animal, such as cows, pigs, and sheep. Hey, all right. <laughs> you know me, I'm not one to shy away from shit. As I hunt down a beef tongue, I'll eat some intestine linings. And I did put hot sauce on this one. The bottle was labeled hot, so. Very chewy. That uh, that hot sauce is definitely hot. Definitely the most unique texture. It's like eating gristle, kind of. It's like very, it's like eating very rubbery fat. That was good. I'd eat tripe again. And now for the start of the show, baby. The elote. Oh, sweet baby Jesus. Elote is seriously like one of my favorite foods of all time. I could eat this shit all day, every day. Mm. Remember, I went to 
going back to Carnival Market. <coughs> link, in the, uh, link in the description if you haven't seen that video. Going back to Carnival Market with a friend of the channel, Libby. And I got some elote there. And she did try it, to her credit, she did try it. But she was saying it looked like vomit, which, I, I no arguing that, it did look like vomit. And she didn't like it, which I'm very shocked by. I thought she would like it. And I know you're watching this, so I thought you'd like it. Uh, but me, bro, ooh, I could eat this shit day in, day out. I'm gonna eat this elote, and then I'm just gonna go truck to truck, asking if they got some tongue for me to try. And the first place that does, I'll order it there. I'll get it, and then I'll stop by one more spot and get some dessert after that. And I'm getting quite full, especially fucking after this whole thing. But after that, we'll wrap it up after I get, after I, I hopefully get a lingua taco and some dessert. But if I don't get a lingua taco, I might just skip straight to dessert because I'm a bad boy. Uh, so stay tuned. All right, let the, let the quest for tongue begin. Ladies and gentlemen, we got them. Fucking tight. Hold on. If you see on their meat thing, beef tongue baby, and they said they had it. This was the place that was cash only earlier with the elote, but their card now. I got beef tongue taco. I'm excited for this. And then after this, I'll hit some dessert as I give my closing thoughts on the no buy taco fest. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here it is. The beef tongue taco. I threw some onion, cilantro, and radishes on here. You know, let's, let's take these. Let's take a radish off for a bite. We'll keep the one in the back on there. Ooh, look at that. Look at this. It's like a cat's tongue. Hopefully the camera can pick this up. It's got like little barbs on it. Reminds me of my mango when we French kiss. When it reminds me when I French kiss my cats. Okay, I hope the radish fell off in the back too. This has been years in the making. I've literally tried to order your tongue so many times and nowhere has it. So finally has it. Let's take a bite. Mm. I don't know how to explain this. Like, I, it tastes good and it, it tastes, but it tastes. Mm. It's definitely like chewier than meat, than normal beef. When I put this, it's. I don't want to say tart, because it's not like sour, but it's like, you know how when you eat like a lot of peanut butter, like when you smell peanut butter, that feeling that you get in your throat, you kind of get a little hint of that when you're eating this beef tub, which is not a bad thing by any means. Mm. Very good, very good. Honestly. Maybe my favorite of the day. Either this one. I'd say my top three tacos were this one, the uh, chorizo, and the lamb. In no particular order. It was beef tongue, chorizo, lamb. But I'm definitely getting a little full. And I gotta go swimming and drinking, so I can't be, I can't be killing myself before the drinking. If I'm dying, I'm drink, I'm drinking and driving, baby. Just kidding, I'm not doing that. So, very juicy too. Shall we all the saliva? I don't think so. But I ate the taco. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go track down some, some dessert, and I'll give you my. Uh, Final thoughts on eating the dessert. Um, so I'm eating all this traditional Mexican food. Got a cola this time. Well, an orange soda. So I figured I've been eating all these traditional Mexican tacos, super authentic. So I figured what better way to finish an authentic meal, Mexican meal with authentic Mexican dessert of deep fried Twinkies and deep fried Snickers. I believe uh, these types of desserts date back to the Jurassic era in Mexico. Uh, <clears throat> I know there's cave paintings of them of Twinkies and deep fried Snickers all across caves in Mexico. So I figured I'd get these to really wrap it up. Let's take a bite, see what you think. That was all deep fried batter. 
Ooh, it's filling, baby. So I'm not even a huge Twinkie person. I mainly just got the, please get away. There's a giant bug. I mainly just got it for the novelty because I've never had deep fried Twinkies before. I've had deep fried Oreos. I've had deep fried other stuff. Never a Twinkie or a Snickers. Might as well throw that out there. Never had deep fried Snickers either. Uh, but this definitely doesn't change my opinion on Twinkies. They're good. I don't dislike Twinkies. But I do, I think Hostess or Little W, whoever makes them, has far better options available. Yeah. Especially, and deep frying them doesn't change my opinion of that at all. <coughs> Went down the wrong pipe. It's going to be like one of my unhealthiest days ever. I'm eating all this. And I'm going to a pool to drink and eat more. And eat like burgers and dogs and stuff. Uh, but let's try this deep fried uh, Snickers. Looks exactly the same from the outside, mostly. Ooh, you can see a lot of chocolate and shit pouring out there. Mm. Alright, I'll some up. They had uh, Three Musketeers, Snickers, and Milky Way. And I asked the lady, which one's your favorite? She said Snickers, so I said, all right. Give me some of that. I do like this much more than the Twinkie, but I think that's just because I like Snickers more than Twinkies. But if I'm being entirely honest, I think I'd rather have an undeep fried Snickers over this. Like the deep fried batter is getting in the way of all the Snickers tastings. I wasn't even hungry and I ate a Snickers. The Snickers man's gonna come kill me. I'm so full, it fell off the stick. I'm counting that it's done. Nah, I'll eat it. Well. Alright. So no guy talk with us. This is really cool. Super glad I came. Super glad. This has been super cool. But what this isn't is like a full day activity unless you're like really into shopping and stuff because in between all the trucks they've got like flea market vendors and even some more like kind of like I see like some couple frozen yogurts you can get a couple churros but it's like mostly shopping I see candy freeze dried fruit I'll put some footage of some of this stuff I'm talking about just like what you can expect here at the Novi Taco Fest Ugh. But it's, it's not a full day activity. It is an afternoon at most. It is like, like I got here at 11. Granted, I am just on my own. And it's 12.30 and I'm gonna be leaving once I'm done filming. Once I get grab this up and then get some footage of the other spots. But in normal circumstances, I'd probably be here for like, probably not much shorter than this, honestly. But not much, definitely not longer. It's like an afternoon. It's like, you could totally do this and do some other stuff in the day, like I'm gonna do. It's super, but the ticket price of admission, I bought my ticket online a week ago, eight bucks. Not a lot to complain about there. For eight dollars, this is well worth eight dollars. But I mean, you gotta pay for the food and anything you buy, of course, obviously. But considering some places like this would charge like 20 bucks admission and then you still charge all that stuff for the food and shit, I think eight bucks is more than fair. This is awesome. Had some great food. I had a great time. This is some great music. So that's for sure. But. If you're in the Novi, Detroit, whatever area, um, I highly recommend you check it out. It's a full weekend thing. I think it's a yearly weekend thing because right, it's Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and I think they do it once a year. I'm here on Saturday, hence the title of the video. But I highly recommend you check it out just to like even walk around and check things out. It's a, just a nice place to walk around. People are super friendly. And tons of good food. There's even a second stage of performers. I got that film, that first one. They're performing. There's a second stage I'm looking at that's got like kind of a more mellow band on it. Not so much performance stuff, but super cool. Super cool stuff. But that's all I got. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like the video. <coughs> Help me pay my hospital bill when I never go there for lung cancer like I'm coughing. Uh, subscribe to the channel, food and video game videos. You know what's up. And as always, let's talk in the comments. Let's talk. Tacos, let's talk Mexican food, let's talk little festivals like this, anything you want. I want to talk about it. I want to talk about stuff. 
Thank you for watching. Appreciate your time and attention, and I'll see you in the next one.